as you know, United States and China are having a very, very difficult time these days because uh, they are trying. One of them to support Taiwan, the other one to oppose uh, strongly to Taiwan independence, China Taipei independence. And, uh, you know, some people say, oh, this is going to be the reason why the third war uh, is going to, uh, will go through in the future. Because Ukraine has no capacities to defeat Russia uh, unless NATO uh, go and, and fight, fight for Ukraine, which looks like it's not going to happen. Because they realize that Ru Russia is stronger, they are not going to defeat Russia, even they, uh, even though they are sending a lot of money uh, to, uh, to Ukraine. So that at the end, it looks like they will have to tell Ukraine to just leave Russia with the territories from the east, uh, the, in the Donbas region and Crimea, and you know, just try to negotiate. So uh, the next step in the future in this uh, geopolitical fight against uh, between United States and, and, and China uh, looks like it's going to be Taiwan because this is the main producer of chips in the world and as you know is the uh, this is really really necessary for the world because most of the uh, uh, items uh, using technologies uh, that we use these days they need the, these chips and Taiwan is the main producer in the world and uh, for the United States, it's not good news that this is going to be in China's hands because China is his enemy, a political enemy. So uh, China continues saying, well, Taiwan is my province. It's a province in rebellion. It's not an independent country, but the United States and like 13 countries in the world recognize uh, Taiwan as, a, as an independent country. But every every decade decade the countries supporting Taiwan as an independent country they are slowing down they are decreasing and is increasing the amount of countries that are supporting China as the only one China in the world in Paraguay they had elections the last week or two weeks ago I don't, I'm not clear uh, about it but it it, it happened in May 20, uh, this May 2023. And they decide to vote for the for the uh, ruling party to continue in power. The ruling party was proposing to keep the relationships the relationship from, uh, between this country and Taiwan. Uh, but the the opposite uh, the the opposition uh, to the government they were uh, uh, expecting to win and, and establish uh, the relationship with China with the big China. Uh, it didn't happen. Uh, so it, it won't happen but some other countries in Central America like Nicaragua, Panama the Dominican Republic Salvador they have recognized in the uh, recent years that there is only one China and that one is China Beijing, not China Taipei only because of the support of the United States, Taiwan is still thinking about independence, but China is not willing to uh, let them go as an independent country, but saying, well, this is part of my territory. I want them back because, as you know, Chiang Kai-shek and some other uh, people from Taiwan, they just moved to the island because they were not happy with Mao Zedong and the Communist uh, Party, uh, the rule uh, from the Communist Party in China after the World War II. So that they moved to Taiwan and they created a capitalist system that works a lot because this is a very industrial and rich country. But according to China, they are not a country but a province. So it's going to be uh, really interesting in the future to see what's going to happen if Taiwan will continue as independent or China will take them back as the province, as the territory. United States says that they won't allow that to happen because they will defend Taiwan with all they have.